What's up, everybody? It's AJ with eTrail.com. Today, we're going to be checking out the Lippard Power Stance Power Jack. So, it's going to be great for helping you get your trailer attached to your truck. You don't have to manually do anything up here. Now, it does have that option if you do run out of power, but it also has two different power options. You can have it run to your battery at all times. That way, you have onboard power right here on your trailer. But if your trailer doesn't have it like ours, you can just plug it straight up into your seven pole and then use the power from there. Either way, you're gonna be able to use your jack and get your trailer hooked up or unhooked on the way. Let's check it out. It's really easy to operate. You have the button here. It's a nice big button with the text on there letting you know which ends which. Retract or extend. Retract is gonna bring the jack up, which means lower the trailer. Extend is gonna drop the jack down, which brings the trailer up. You have a nice LED light here too, so if it's not daytime and you're trying to use it at night, you can still see the button and see which side you need to push. Right underneath the button is where you plug in your seven pole. So you're just gonna plug in this end here, and now make sure you do that first before you plug it into your vehicle. Then you can just run the other end, the seven pole, on your vehicle. Once you've unplugged your seven pole, if you're not gonna use it, it does have a rubber cover that just keeps dust and gunk and stuff out of there. That way it's nice and clean when you go to use it. We come down here, there's some other extra features that they offer. There's a place to hold your seven pole from your trailer. So it's not just hanging around here. You don't have to just throw it back towards the trailer. It actually stores up in the jack, which is kind of a cool thing that they added on there. That's the same thing with the safety chain loop. When they're not being used and you don't have them hooked up to your truck, you don't have to just leave them down on the ground. Let's say you're in the mud or something like that. You don't want to just throw them in there and then you have to deal with it in your hands. You can actually just loop, clip them on this loop here. They're up and out of the way and free of you either connecting or disconnecting your trailer. Something else I'd want to see is make sure that just in case you have no power from the trailer, let's say the battery's dead, and for whatever reason the seven pole in your truck's messed up, can I still use this jack? Well, it does have the manual override here on the top, and it comes with the tool. It just fits right on there, just like that. And then you can manually lower that jack or retract it. Something I noticed though is it's not hard to operate manually either. Sometimes you get these jacks through the automatic ones or the manual ones. It takes quite a bigot to get that turn and get that going either way. But this one is pretty easy. It's really effortless. The handle also spins. Here it's got a cover. So you're not just having a metal bar that you have to keep adjusting your grip. This spins and I think it allows you just to get quicker turns out of it. That way you can just get this done. Also comes with a foot plate. That way it gives you more of a footprint when you're going ahead and lowering that. That'll give you more traction, put you on even more even ground, and that way you don't have to worry about it sliding or moving around on you. And the bottom part, I have a steel construction. This has a black powder coat finish on the top. The bottom side does not, but it can still hold up to the elements just fine. You don't have to worry about wind or snow or rain or anything like that. It's not gonna bother it. I got a hardened plastic chair top, you can see. It's not like a loose plastic, so when I knock on it, there's not a bunch of vibration or movement here. It's pretty solid. I think you can hear that pretty well. So you don't have to worry about this having any issues either. Let's check out some measurements. We're gonna go from the bottom of this plate here to the bottom of the foot plate, and this is gonna be in its most retracted state. Looks like we're about at 10 and 3 quarter inches. Now I got lifted up in the highest position. Let's see what that measures at. We're gonna do the same thing from the bottom of the foot plate to the bottom of this plate right here. Looks to be about 28 and three quarters. So that's gonna give you 18 inches of lift. The power stance has a weight capacity of 3,500 pounds. So just keep that in mind when you're loading up your trailer, that's as much as it can handle. With a thousand pounds on this trailer, I can say that it goes, takes 47.2 seconds to extend six inches, and then it's gonna take 43.5 seconds to retract six inches. So if you're somebody that's gonna be using your trailer a whole bunch and hooking up a bunch of different vehicles, it is gonna take some time. It's not the fastest jack we have. There's definitely ones out there that are way quicker. So if that's something you're looking for, that's gonna eliminate it right away. I would look at a different jack just because if you need speed to hook up to different trailers, different truck heights and stuff like that, this isn't the one for you. But if you're fine with how long it takes to do this, I mean, you're not really gonna extend it all the way out or retract it all the way out every time. Chances are 
You're just gonna get a little bit up off the ball mount here and drive away and pull right back the next time. So it really won't take that long just to get it on there. You'll just be happy not to have to hand crank it and you can use your onboard power or your seven pole on your vehicle. It works really well, but how hard is it to install? It actually didn't take us much time at all to remove the old jack and install this one. It's just three bolts. Follow along how we did it. We went ahead and removed the old jack. The new one's gonna slide right into place here. You see the holes line up just fine. And I'm just gonna go ahead and drop them in and hand tighten them. After tightening down the included hardware up top, we're ready to add our foot plate here at the bottom. Just slide into place and line up those holes. You run that pin through and then we'll add a clip. That's gonna hold it in place. Next up is gonna be the wiring. Now, you're gonna have two ways to do this. We can run this to the battery, that way you always have onboard power and this can be used if something happens to that battery, you can hook it up to your truck. We're not gonna hook this one up today, we don't have a battery for this trailer, but we're gonna run the seven pole to the truck and get power that way. Now we're ready to hook it up to our truck. We're just put the seven pole in here, make sure you always plug it in to the jack first and then plug it in your power supply. Make sure the tab is at the, pri the right place here. It looks like it needs to be at the bottom. So you just plug it in, push it into place, and you should have power. We got power, so now we can lower our trailer down onto our ball mount. I think that about does it. Thanks for hanging out, and I hope this helped.